All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, we're playing some Teemo in the mid lane. We're running Dark Harvest, Cheap Shot, Eyeball, Ultimate Hunter, Mana Flow Band, and Absolute Focus. Uh, this patch, Teemo got some pretty big buffs. His shrooms now have 5% more AP scaling. Um, I think they, yeah, they go further now at lower range, so I can throw them further. And they cut down the mana cost by a ton. So I'm just sitting here invisible mid because I'm against a Gangplank with First Strike. And little does he know, I'm right here, and I'm going to absolutely hit him first. But I'm going to wait for him to hit a minion, so he doesn't have that fire auto. But yeah, we're going to see if we could do a build on Teemo now with his buff shrooms that uh, doesn't require a mana mythic, like a Ludens or a Leandris. I'm going to go a Riftmaker into full AP, try to get some huge damage shrooms off. Gotcha. Had to get that minion first. Oh yeah, the mana cost went down from 75 to uh, 35 at max rank, level 16. So I'm going to do like a Rift Maker into... I could do Demonic Second Death, but Burn or Shadow Flame. We'll see. They do have a Soraka, so I don't really want to lean towards the Burn. I just want to go maximum damage. I may even need to build uh, Morellos on Mushrooms. This might be a difficult matchup for us. Because Gangplank is pretty strong right now, but he did just get nerfed. Actually, and they nerfed Sustain. So let's see if we can poke him out of lane. Oh, nice. He gave me that one for free. Give me that one, too. Free Watermelon. gonna keep hitting him. I think I can get Harvest stack here. Okay, he oranged. We're gonna keep hitting him though. Oh, don't get too close to us, Gangplank. What do you think you're doing? We're Teemo. Yeah, they nerfed GP's early game, so we might as well go for the early all-in. If I blind him, you can't even do auto attack damage. Uh-oh. Will I get this one? Oh, I will. Okay, we got a pretty big wave. That's a good thing we fought him, because he would have had us under turret. And we would have lost out. But yeah, this Teemo buff's really good for the uh, the Nashers Riftmaker build, but I don't really feel like going in Nashers Tooth. I want to just play around my Shrooms. That's my favorite way to play Teemo. Plus, I don't want to get too close to like Warwick and all of them. Just gotta make it to level six and we have wave clear. Uh-oh. Oh, and Gangplank's up there. All right, we'll try to push this into turret. I should be able to get it into tower now since he roamed, but he did get a kill. But we want a tough game because I want to make it to my, my build. 10 gold melon. Yeah, even though he got a, a kill and an assist, um, he's 1-1-1. One, one, and one. We still have like 20 farm on him. Okay, let's just do... Um, I mean, I don't really want the leeching layer actually. I'd rather have boots and a blasting. Because we're not going to heal anything with 5 percent omni vamp plus this gives 20 more ap than the leeching layer the health would be nice but we don't need it as bad but yeah the the rift maker late game is going to give us probably more damage than a ludens because it does true and it ramps up our damage and gives more ap with mythic bonus gonna walk around the barrel oh you're dead buddy oh you still had flash got him I think I can beat her too aha fear me Talia I'm gonna save my Q till she's low and then sniper boom okay there we go blue buff 1v2 double kill well now I'm definitely not gonna have mana problems
don't know if the cube line works if he cues a barrel. I think it does. Oh, Warwick's missing. We should probably back up. Well, now I have that leeching leer. Oh, we're doing a lot of damage already. Wonder if he didn't take magic resist. No, he did. We're just strong. You know, Riftmaker first isn't the greatest. I wanted to try it though, but I wonder if I went Shadow Flame first, like how Akali's used to go. I bet that would actually give me more damage. I'm just gonna keep pushing though. I got blue, I can just put shrooms down. So yeah, look at the range of a level one shroom. That's like how far it is when it was like level 11 last patch or something. Gangplank roamed bot. I don't think he's gonna kill them. He does have ult. Oh yeah, he is gonna get one. That's okay, I get plating. I'm getting just as much if not more um, gold than he is from roaming there even though he got a kill. Because I just got two plating, that's probably worth even more than the kill he just got. And I'm getting XP and minions, which he is losing, so he's gonna be behind in level. But sometimes roaming isn't the best option. You really have to make sure your wave is in the right spot. Well, I don't think Talia's coming by mid anytime soon again. Well, he hit the one I just put. Our shrooms aren't going to be doing too much damage, I think, until I get two items. I'll go Shadow Flame second. I'll do Shadow Flame Death Cap after this uh, rift. I could put my corner shrooms down for you guys, don't worry. So yeah, we have Riftmaker. I haven't had any mana, mana issues yet, but I mean, I did get a, a free blue buff from Talia. But it's gone now. But yeah, I think just mana flow is enough. We're not going to have like a ton of haste with this build either. But we can go Horizon, that gives a lot of damage in haste, and people were commenting on my last Teemo video that Horizon does not work on traps, but it absolutely does, because they slow. Oh, I think he's dead, I don't even need to ignite. Nice, he's gonna burn. There we go. I'm just using my shrooms for wave clear. I don't even need the corner shrooms since I'm stronger than him. Normally that's not the case. Their mid game's gonna get pretty strong though with the the Warwick and the Soraka healing. But he, Warwick's going uh, Rift Maker, which is interesting. He's gonna have a healing build. But the good thing is he won't be as tanky as like a normal Warwick, because I doubt he's gonna build a bunch of MR. A corner shroom army commence. Put one more down and then I'm gonna recall. Warwick has no flash. I think Trundle wins this. Oh, he died. Wow. Oh, Gangplank's there. The roaming plank. Alright, let's grab. I like an alternator, but shoes are pretty nice too. I could also get a Dark Seal and go Magi's this game for even more AP. Let me see. We'll do Shadow Flame, Death Cap, and then we have two more slots. Void Staff Horizon. I don't think I want a Dark Seal. They're going to get Herald. I don't think I can stop him. He already has Essence Reaver. Aha, Corner Shroom. Aha, you're just about dead. I think he might burn to death here. He might live with one health. Nope. Wow. Alright. Yeah. 
I was level, I'm three levels on him, so my ignite is really strong. 250, whereas his ignite only does 190, so that's 60 extra true damage. Oh, they're still doing Herald, I can go help. Missing a plating, though. Huh, they didn't do it. Cool. Troom up the mid lane area. Nice, I didn't miss the plating. Okay, he can still hit the barrel while blinded, unless that that Q went off before the blind. I don't know exactly how it works. I think we're gonna get to Liad soon. I'm just gonna go for this and back up. I wanna auto him once though and Q so I get harvest. Oh shit. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go this way. Thanks for the wall. Corner shroom. Another shroom. Hit it. Yes. Come here, you. Give me that blue. Awesome. I am a humongous Teemo. If I just Q him, he dies, I think. Pop. Goes the gangplank. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, wait. We got Harold tanking. We're good. Put some more shrooms down. We gotta use this blue buff haste. I've already opened up the map, so I can put my shrooms really deep now if I get this turret. Yes, one here. Uh oh. That is indeed an AP wick. Alright, we'll reset. I actually need 200 more gold for Shadow Flame, so I'll stay. I haven't killed you yet. Come here. Ooh. Boom. Ah, oh, that's not enough. Eat my cannon. There's like a Warwick somewhere in this area. There's also Talia. Did 31 true damage on that Q from Rift. Stay away from me. Oh, that hit me. Uh, I think I'm dead. Oh, no. Not the Warwick. At least I died to Gangplank and not Warwick. Okay, we got a Shadow Flame. Now we'll just work on a Death Cap. And I think one hitting one shroom on a champion is enough to proc my Rift Maker. Is Ezreal down? Each second in combat. The yeah, it lasts four seconds. So at least the end of the uh first shroom they hit will proc it. Some true damage. But I mean, I can proc the Rift Maker anywhere. Like, if somebody hits a Shroom down here and ramps it up, and then somebody hits a Shroom over here, they'll take full true damage. We're at 561 bonus damage, so that is good so far. Because Rift Maker's not supposed to be good early. It's supposed to be good, like, late. And it's good for extended combat, so... We can catch him in that fight. See if I could go down there. I need to kill um Azreal Soraka. Oh yeah, I didn't actually get her. Q. Two, three, four. Let's keep wave clearing. Wow, one shroom did half of Ezreal's health. Let's see what a Q does. Almost all of it. Alright, this is now my jungle. You guys can get out of here. I own this jungle. Yes, 
need to kill her, but I think I need Ignite. That might get me a Harvest deck, though. Oh, that definitely gets me a Harvest deck. Holy cow. I did 80% of her health. And now I just did the rest of it. More shrooms. If somebody walks through here with a sweeper, they're getting all of them. One, two, three, four. Aw, oh, man. My riff couldn't heal me enough. We do so much damage, though. These are going to be so deadly. Look at this. My shrooms. They're almost dead. Talia is, like, way too low to even go in. And Gangplank's, like, 40%. gonna keep blocking off their jungle they only have one sweeper right now which is good I want to go get their blue I don't think they've gotten it because this shroom would have been popped uh oh as okay double dash I think even though if he goes AP, my Q blind still stops Warwick from healing me or healing. Just want your blue, Talia. Got it. I'm going to make a shroom line right here, starting right here go here and we'll go here and then we'll go here somebody has the skills to run through all four of these shrooms they get a reward of death Let me go help my team taking a wolf we got Warwick there's no turret here. I could just keep running. Um, she might die. Harvest? No. Oh, she did die. Oh, that took a while. What the heck is this thing? Oh, he hit a shroom. I don't even have to do anything. I get an assist. Let's go. Oh. Wow. Ezreal is pretty close to my shroom line. I'm just gonna absolutely control this little area. Somebody's gonna sweep it, but it'll still be funny that how many shrooms they'll see. The blue buffs are helping me out a lot. Haha, -ha, puppy. All right, there you go. You're you're gone. You're gone too. All right, you might die. No, you have a Soraka. I wanted to get one more Q off and <laughs> shoot my damage. <laughs> I have three items by the time they have two. Even one. Infernal Dragon will just make my AP go even higher. We already got Rift to 1500. Well, they hit two shrooms over here. They can't even go in topside jungle. Is that a shroom? What is that? It's a ward. Okay, so... Oh, Riftmaker's popped. Who hit one? Must have been Talia. She's the only one that's missing health. I'm gonna go grab our blue. Yeah, 554 AP. I can still build two more items. I think they've... Oh, they've hit the line of shrooms. Oh, my God. She's 1 HP. How did that not hit her? There's ult. Whizzes by them. I almost killed their whole team right there with my shroom line. Oh, that's a fully pallety gangplank. The good thing about that is uh, 1 Q and he goes bye-bye. I'm just going to wait right here.
I want to get them to chase me. This might just kill him. Auto Q, dead. I can just auto Q every single one of them. Kill him. Hey, blue buff refresh. Auto Q, dead. Oh shit. All right, now I'm dead though. If I can get my Q off again on Gangplank, it wasn't up. Man, that damage though. All I hit was a shroom and an auto attack on him. I think. I didn't even have ignite. I think Trundle wins this. It's too good at sustained fighting. Even though with this Soraka, okay, these are kind of a lot of. Oh my God, Trundle damage though. What does he have? Wow, all he has is a Sunder. Ouch. All right, let's add a. Let's see. I don't think I need a Void yet. They don't have any magic resist. Oh my God, he got creep blocked. The creep block death. We don't need a Void stuff yet. I will go the the Horizon. Does I get an alternator with this? Even more damage on my shrooms? We're at 2,000 damage with Riftmaker in 22 minutes, which is actually insane. I don't think I've ever had this item do this much damage. I actually have a lot of health with this build. Yeah, I want alternator, one horizon, then we'll finish off with a void in case they build MR later, which they might. Ezreal has nine kills, but he also, like, he literally dies to me in two two hits. I want an auto and a Q. The reason we auto first is because then the poison goes and it procs the harvest after we, um, after we Q them. All right, they've got three sweepers now. There is a... Fruit fly in my room. I don't know how it got up here, but it is flying in front of my monitor. Oh, the Rift Maker popped. I don't know who I hit. It's for the chicken dinner. If this is up. Oh, yeah, they are too scared to go in their jungle. The jungle is literally mine. Every game I play Teemo, the whole jungle is mine. Where's Riftmaker popped on? Can't even see. Yes, sir. Yeah, we haven't had a single mana issue this game, but we have gotten a generous portion of blue buffs. Almost killed him. Marry you. Oh my god, that sniped him. No, don't collect me, please. Wait, take Shroom. Oh, I want to put one more down. I think Jin wins this. Warwick has used everything except his Ignite and his E. Oh, okay, I lied. We have the Trundle backup plan, though. He's going to mow everybody down. Okay, I have a horizon. That's another 10% more damage. We pretty much hit full build. We just need a Void Staff now. Which, Void Staff isn't going to change too much because I already don't have any magic resist. I'm already ripping through them. Plus, I do true damage. I think Swain wins this. Oof, close. He, he does a lot with his autos, actually. He's got crit. Once he gets IE next, he could potentially one-shot somebody. But we're going to play the game called Enemy Team Does Not Get to Leave Base. Another dragon for us. Good for my mana, but our shrooms only cost 55, and in one more XP, they will cost 35. Oh. Oh. Oh, they're just standing there. I thought it was still ticking, but that was the end of it, I guess. The real damage is if they hit two shrooms. If they hit one and then walk into a second one, they're they're absolutely dead. One, two, three, four. I guess I could get anti-heal as my last item, too. But the Soraka heals aren't too bad to deal with. Just gotta spread them out. Don't put them too close. These are still pretty close. That might kill him. Oh, he got healed. I could also go Demonic Last for extra burn to kill them. 
There's so many good items you can go on Teemo. Oh. Rank 16. Look at how far I can lob these bad boys. And they don't cost anything. I'm just chucking them over the wall. You? 770. That puts me in combat, so... Oh, and Warwick, wow, it even does so much to him. Dude, they can't even, like, walk out. If they hit one of these, they have to go back to base. I love this, because I don't even have to play League. I just put down Shroom's little Easter egg hunt. Hey, get out of here. That might kill her. Oh my god, the auto killed her. The damage. Play bounce shrooms in the base. Hey! Whoa, 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 whoa. We ain't clearing my shrooms. Stop that. I'm trying to make a little picnic over here. Darn. Please die. Yes. So I still got two of them over here. I bet they will forget about them. Because she swept them, but didn't fully kill them. They're fine. As long as this, as long as that barrel doesn't kill them. 60% of my health in one Q. Might e do even more than that. I mean, Void Staff is definitely the best for maximum amount of damage. Let's do Blue Pot too. But it is over. 736 AP. Riftmaker has done 3200 damage. That was just dealing so much. I was... I was too strong. It was just so easy to kill them throughout the whole game. They didn't have anybody that could tank me. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the Teemo video, the Teemo buffed video, please leave a like. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And last but not least, leave a comment below. Let me know what builder champ you want to see next. We did 52k damage. How much true damage did I deal? 4.7k, not not too bad. That's Ignite plus our Rift Maker, I guess. That's the only... And Red Buff. Hey, we did the most true damage in the game. That's all that matters. Here's our Rune stats. Harvest did 36.52. Cheap Shot did 13. Oh, that's another um, where our true damage came from. 13.26 on Cheap Shot true damage. And then Absolute Focus gave us more AP. The Mana Flow gave us our mana. We didn't have a single mana problem that game, though. It's pretty nice. So, yeah. If you guys enjoyed, like... Comment on the video below. Let me know what builder champ you want to see next. And subscribe to the channel too. And check out my second channel, Zwag's Earth. We got a buffed Jarvan game coming up. They increased his ratio from 120% to 140%. So my lethality Jarvan is going to hurt. See you there. Peace.